बुलावे तुझे यार अज मेरी गलियां बसाऊ तेरे संग मैं अलग दुनिया बुलावे तुझे यार अज मेरी गलियां Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are all well. I have filmed this brown and gold kind of theme um wedding glam for you guys when I was getting ready to go to a wedding. You can see that I'm wearing a uh, brown and gold sari and my makeup is very um gold and brown, so kind of kept with the earthy tones. So stay tuned to see how I create this beautiful full glam look for you guys as always i'm gonna start off with the nyx um, brow pencil in espresso and i start by brushing up the brows and then i'm going to before i do the brows um, i'm gonna apply the blur primer as you know i keep using this all the time it's in the color orange which is good for color correcting which helps with like the dark areas and kind of balances the skin tone um, so i use this under the foundation which really helps and it also creates a smooth base for the foundation and and then I'm gonna uh, finish off doing the brows while I let the primer settle into my skin. So I'm gonna use a brow pencil and fill it all in. And I find uh, the brow pencils, you just have to be lighter and then be more stronger at the tip. Um, with brow pencils, you gotta be careful of making it too strong. And I use the brush end to kind of like soften it up. So I find this um, kind of method a lot more quicker than I used to um, use powder before. So yeah, this is a lot quicker for me. But next up, I'm using the concealer with a flat brush. As you know, I'm using the Kiko concealer in the number six. It's a full coverage concealer and just tightening up the brows to make the brows a bit more sharper. Next up, I'm using the Fenty Beauty foundation and as you know, that's my favorite and I'm using in the shade 300 and just blend it out all together. I'm using the same concealer again under my eyes and using my index finger so that you want to be gentle around the eyes but still get in those areas and as always I like to put it over the eyelid I don't use any primer at all um, this is full coverage enough to cover the whole area and applying some on my lips as well and next up I'm setting everything with the all-nighter waterproof powder and I'm using a buffing brush by Real Techniques so make sure my whole face is all matte I'm using the all day setting spray by Jared Cosmetics and I'm letting that dry. Next up I'm using the Kick-Ass Powder to um, highlight and brighten up the eyelid plus um, add more powder and brighten it up as well. It's like a banana powder if you wanted to use like um, a banana powder you can use that. And I forgot to finish my brows off so I'm using the brow uh, mascara and just to tidy up and keep the brows looking sharp all day without um, it moving about. Uh, next up I'm using my favorite palette, it's the Huda Beauty Warm Obsessions and I'm using the um, base color, like with any eyeshadow I always like to do that before. And next up I'm going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette. So I'm going to start off with using the So Bougie colour. It's like a very um, light brown colour. And I use this colour on my eyelid as a transition shade, um, just on the crease line. Next up, I'm using the dark brown colour in the sh shade, um, it's called Cocoa Truffle. And I'm adding that to kind of give it a bit more depth as well. Same again on the other eye with a fluffy brush. Just keep blending in. Make sure it's all blended. And 
and then I'm using um, the Jaclyn Hill palette I'm using one of the dark shades I do believe I do believe I'm using the color called chip it's like a very dark reddish brown color and I'm gonna dip the same fluffy brush and add a bit more depth and gonna apply that into the crease line next up I'm going back in with that um, base color from the Huda Beauty warm brown obsessions palette and it's got that nice um, base color that I've been using and I keep using it from this palette so the next color I'm going to use is um, from the Too Faced palette called Old Money so I'm using a flat brush which I'm going to use it to pack in the color this color is so beautiful it's very shimmery and it just melts into the eye so I'm applying that in the middle of the lid and make sure you keep packing that color so that it covers the whole lid area and make sure you tap off any excess so that it doesn't fall on your foundation keep adding that color till you're happy with how much coverage you've got and then I'm going back in with a fluffy brush the same fluffy brush that I've used to add the transition color and just going to blend it out so and then i'm using the flat brush again i'm using the color um, chocolate gold and adding that in the middle to create like a light and a bit of highlight to the lid make sure you stretch up the lid i feel like if you do that it kind of um, fills up any gaps and there's no lines so it looks more blended in with any shimmering color that you add look at that gold next up I'm using the Mac um, pencil in the shade coffee and I'm adding that on my waterline and then I'm using the same pencil and I'm going over the top lash line and you can stretch the eyelid if you find that's comfortable so I like to do that so I can get right in I'm using a different medium brush and I'm dipping back into that chip color from Jaclyn Hill palette and it's a, that brown color and I'm using that to blend out the eyeliner to create kind of like a smoky effect which I love doing I'm dipping back into the color again and adding more and same with the other eye and if you need to you can I can stretch it if you want as well next up I am going to use another color but before I do that I'm gonna spray the flat brush with the setting spray I am using the palette um, the Saharain by Juvia's palette it's one of my favorite and I love this palette because the colors are so pigmented so I'm using one of the very light pale colors it's like a goldy um, it's like a 2d color in that into the middle lid and it creates a bit more pop to the eye just add a little bit uh, you don't need much of this because it's so pigmented and I'm going back in with the brush and blending all that smoky eyeliner out next up I am going back into the Too Faced palette with a small brush and dipping back into that cocoa truffle color and I'm adding some on the bottom um, eye line to smoke out the eyeliner and then again I'm dipping back into that Jaclyn Hill palette in the chip color um, it's a bit more darker brown you can use other brands if you want I love to dip back into my different palettes so just keep blending it out and yeah make sure it's all blended and then I'm curling the lashes because uh, I'm gonna add some mascara you can do that if you want as you know I'm using my favorite um, Lancome mascara in the big monster mascara that I keep going back to and I keep using it at the moment with every look that I do so I'm just gonna apply that on my lashes and just make sure it's all coated in and then I've applied um, and lashes that I've not tried before it's um, tatty lashes 
in the number TL8 these lashes are so dramatic um, they look so big on my eyes when I put it on I was like this is so big so I had to trim it a little bit and I've applied it off camera and then I'm going back in with the uh, MAC eye pencils And then I'm using a different mascara, it's by YSL, it's the Curler Mascara in Black. This has got um, coconut in it and it smells amazing. Um, I like to use this mascara for my bottom lashes because it gives it that separated um, lashes without that spidery effect. And then I'm going to use the Graphitobian um, foundation slash concealer and I'm going to use that palette to contour because this is a very glam look so this is um kind of like a heavy creams that's like full coverage so i'm going to use i'm going to i like to mix two of the light shades i do believe i've used it in my other videos and i use this for when i create glam looks so i'm going to um, use it on the highlighted areas the deeper colors i mix um, one of the darkest colors um and i'm going to use that to um shade and contour those areas and I'm using like a flat brush um, to kind of add those areas I already dampened a soft beauty blender and I am going to blend out all the highlighted areas first and just blend all that in quickly And then next up I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Contour Kit. You can see that I've been using that non-stop using um, the Contour Brush by Ro Techniques. I'm using the darker shade to kind of set the contour and also lock it in. So that it stays like that all day and kind of blend everything with the contour areas as well. And I have been using the Hoola... Um, benefit contour powder and I actually love it, it creates like um, a deeper effect and it's not um, orangey at all so it creates a bit more depth to my contour so I like to go over with that um, next up I'm gonna go back in with the kick-ass powder by soap and glory and I'm going to um, go over the highlighted areas where I've applied the concealer slash foundation Next up, I'm using the NYX Powder Blush, and it's in the shade Terracotta. It's a warm kind of um, bronzy color. It's perfect for that earthy tone. Next up, I'm using the YSL Souffle to clap. It's a very fine powder, and I'm using a buffing brush. So I'm using that to buff out everything and blend it all in so there's no harsh lines. So just quickly blend that all together. I'm gonna finish off the face and set it all in with the All Day Setting Spray by Jared Cosmetics. Um, next up, I'm using my favorite highlighter that you know that I've been using non-stop. And I love it because it's got like a goldy kind of pearl to it. I'm using like a small brush for the small areas. And I'm going to use a medium brush for the bigger areas and blend it all in. That's just the, I, I just use two brushes. Um, I'm just extra with the brushes, I guess. And then I am using um, my favourite lip pencil um, by MAC Cosmetics in the shade Cork, as you know. One of my go-to products and I'm just lining the lips. And next up, I am using um, a Dior um, Diorific Matte Lipstick in the shade Stunning. 
and it's in number 620. Um, this is from the Christmas collection and it's a very nice brown. It's so nice. I love the Dior uh, Christmas collection. The packaging, it's beautiful. I always, I think I've collected um, other shades from the Christmas collection. I absolutely love the colors they come out with it. But yeah, I'm going to be using this shade. And then I do like to go back in with a lip pencil to kind of um, define the lips. And then I like to finish off the whole makeup again with their setting spray. Um, next up, I'm using um, a lighter lipstick um, on top to kind of add that ombre effect. Um, it's in, it's um, the Charlotte Tilbury um, lipstick in the shade Hepburn Honey. And I'm just going to put my scarf on and add my jewellery on and then I'll be nearly done with this look. So hope you guys enjoyed um, this look that I've I managed to film on the day. As you know, it's always like a rush when you're getting ready, but I've managed to film it all for you guys. Hope you really enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And also don't forget to hit the notification button so that you keep up with my videos um, thank you guys for watching and please do hit the subscribe button if you are watching my videos already I do appreciate it thank you guys so much take care bye